let's talk about the uh, Salesforce business rule functionality. Lately, they came up with the Salesforce business rules engine. What you do is you uh, provide some certain inputs. It based on the rules, it calculates and returns the data. For example, if you want to get the data of weather of the specific um, region, you send it to a expression table and then calculate the based on the region and maybe read uh, um, some data, maybe some external system inputs data there yeah, and then based on the region, location and it reads data. So that's a very basic rudimentary one. The, the most complex one is um, for patients diagnosis, for example, is a very complex one. If you send some data based on the input, uh, medical code and symptom codes, it calculates this. It has a very complex um, algorithm for diagnosis of, uh, of a disease of the uh, or anything about a an, uh, patient so you can use it but it is it's so complex but I, I'm that's a, I'm throwing out very simple and very complex example let decision matrices decision matrix matches input values to a table and returns raws input value expression sets and various digital processes can call decision matrices decision matrices accept JSON input from and return JSON output um, to are useful for implementing complex rules in a systematic readable manner. De decision tables are complex lookup table that reads business rules with multiple inputs and return multiple output. Decision table read the business rules and return the outcome for records in your Salesforce org or for the values that you specify. Define business rules and let decision table decide the outcome. Expression sets. Expression sets are um, uh, calculation engines of business rules. Um, consists of series of steps connected in a logical flow built from variable concerned conditions. Calcul calculation. Decision matrices and decision table expression set accept the JSON input and return the JSON output to the digital processes that call the sets. So this is the um, very first diagram I show here. This is the user. These are Salesforce, Flow, Omni Studio, third-party custom tools. Um, these can, um, like example, Flow or Omni Studio can call expression sets and, and returns the data. And then expression set data, expression sets get uh, data from decision matrix and decision tables and so forth. And then not only Salesforce, you can use it for another uh, tool uh, or another software. So they can connect via Connect API. You can connect to Salesforce business engines. You can use only the business engine of Salesforce of one use case. So yeah. So let's go to the org. This is I'm go, go I'm going here. There is a um, app called Business Rules Engine. This org has the um, Business Rules Engine um, installed. So this is a trial version. Um, these are the multiple expression set. If you click the expression sets here, uh, it has uh, activity and then versions here. D this is the details of the expression set. Usage type is default is insurance payment and if you go related it has expression set versions there you can use uh, You can create a version. This is a second version. You can keep keep the history of that um, This is a version name Version number you can activate here right now. It is not active here by default it's not active when you create it. Uh, um, yeah, but I am leave it for now, but for the sake of demo. Um, if you want to edit it, you have to open it. Open expression set builder here. 
So you go to the expression set builder. This is a user interface to create expressions on the left hand side. Uh, you can select elements here. These are the element branches, calculation conditions, lookup tables. This is a resource manager. This is the properties. You can change the name. The third menu item is, a, is the element details. Yeah. The most important thing is the elements here. You can update or change here. You can see in, income here. You can see um, here it looks the lookup table, base premium, and then it does some calculations here. Um, this is a calculation. This is a formula here. This is a, it reads a lookup table again. It's a calculation again. Here H. So it is a, again it reads a lookup table. Lookup table is data. It looks for, you can call it reference table. This is calculation again. It's a formula here. You can see that. Discounted premium calculation here for insurance subsidy. So this is a path one, path two is the same as um, the one uh, the one I discussed earlier. The same uh, different paths. So this is how it works.